Hi friends, hope you're having a great week, and if you aren't, I hope this weekend makes up for it. I'm your host, Savannah Burns, and on today's episode, we'll talk about something that gets many moms stared at in public. Is it spanking their kids, dropping F-bombs, or is it the flask peeking out of the side pocket of the diaper bag because it's been a long damn day and mom needs a swig? Nope, it's breastfeeding. Let's get to it. By show of hands, how many of you struggled with breastfeeding? Oh, you too, huh? Glad I'm not alone. I thought I would be a breastfeeding goddess, and not just because I'm a pretty chesty lady, but the twins didn't do squat for me when it came to my newborn. They were a huge letdown, no pun intended. I started producing colostrum at six months along. You heard that right. My boobs were so eager to nurse that I lactated and soaked my shirts at six months along. I used a manual pump, which if you aren't familiar with, is a rubbery thing that looks like a pump but isn't connected with any wires. You just fold over the edges of the mouth, stick your nipple in, and fold the edges back. It creates a suction and stays attached to you by itself. When I would put that on, I'd easily get several ounces, no issues. To me, that meant once my milk came in for real, my baby wouldn't know what to do with all the breast milk I would have ready for him. But like a majority of the things that occurred during my pregnancy, it didn't go as planned. When Jameson was born and we were wheeled back to our room to recover after the C-section, the nurse asked if I wanted to try to breastfeed. Of course I did. I had been training for this, waiting for this challenge I knew I'd be a champion at. Jameson latched within the first couple tries. Ugh, such a champ. He was hungry and ready. First night went okay, though we were exhausted, but so blissed out. The second night is where it flipped. The baby would not console. He was crying what seemed like all the time. Then I cried because who wants to listen to their baby suffer? I kept nursing and it didn't help. What was wrong with this kid? The nurse kept coming to check on us and asked the crazy weepy mom if she needed anything. She offered formula. Oh no, sister, we ain't doing formula. We're going to breastfeed. Hours go by, Jameson's still crying, and I'm still crying. She comes back. Let's just supplement with formula until your milk comes in. Fine. At this point, I cannot listen to him cry anymore. It's tearing me apart and making me hurt physically. She brings in the tiniest of bottles of formula and says to just give him an ounce. He took to it right away, and when I tell you he slept well, the baby slept six hours. I thought something else was wrong because he had slept so long. We supplemented the next day too, and at this point, if my baby is comfortable, that's all I need. But when I get home, it's on like Donkey Kong. I just need my milk to come in. I requested a lactation consultant to see if she had any advice. This was nice, but it was not much help. Her only guidance was to latch the baby to my breast while holding him like a football. Jameson wasn't a fan and neither was I. I guess I would figure this out on my own. We came home and immediately I unpacked my brand new pump, plugged her in, sat down with a water bottle and got comfy just like the books had told me. One ounce, one stupid ounce from each boob. Fine, I knew it would take days for milk to come in, so I didn't think much of it. Supplement, supplement, supplement. I gave the baby all the colostrum I could squeeze out and topped him off with formula. Lots of water, lots of crying, lactation cookies, body armor drinks, and three weeks later, I was still only at one ounce each. What was happening? Now the baby was getting more formula than he was milk. Had someone forgotten to tell my boobs that the baby was born and it was time to go to work? Nonetheless, I kept trying. Pumping, nursing, hydrating, repeat. No success. I tried breastfeeding for quite a while, close to three months, I believe, before the mental toll was too much. Being so frustrated with my body, Jameson trying so hard to get more milk out that was just not coming, and having him cry out of hunger, I could not do it. I beat myself up for a couple more weeks wondering what was best. At this point, my body had made it pretty clear it wasn't going to produce like I would have preferred. Jameson had been getting mostly formula by this point anyways. I gave it up. It hurt to do it, but it hurt to be disappointed in myself every feeding too. Jameson needed me in the right headspace. He was getting fed just fine. And even if it was formula. And I realized, you know what? We have our child's whole life to feel like a failure at parenting. If I start now, it'll only get worse from here. I had to let myself off the hook. I did my best to remember the positives to formula feeding. It meant I could have a glass of wine or two when my little one went to bed. I could drink all the coffee I wanted. My husband could feed our son and bond with him too. It meant both of us could get up in the night with him. (laughs) 
I had beat myself up so badly for not getting to breastfeed for longer. I missed out on such a beautiful experience and constantly reminded myself that breast milk made babies smarter, healthier, more developed. But then I think back to some of the smartest people in my life, and not once could I recall it being mentioned that they were breastfed. My kid is going to be smart because we read to him every night, because we talk to him constantly and let his curiosity run free as long as he's doing it safely. So mama, if there's something you beat yourself up about doing or not doing for your baby, it's time to let yourself off the hook. You are a great mom and nobody is better for your child than you. Oh, and if you are someone who's a breastfeeding goddess, good for you. Be proud of the challenges you've overcome. Breastfeeding is not easy and you're a warrior, a complete badass. Big jealous hugs to you. If you have a breastfeeding story you'd like to share, please send me a message. I can be reached at savannaburns at hotmail.com or on my Instagram at pinkpluspodcast. Follow the show on Anchor or Spotify to get easy access to new episodes. And don't forget to follow the podcast Instagram to see when episodes of guest speakers are uploaded at pinkpluspodcast. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.